Feedback inhibition. It's when the end products of the metabolic pathway bind and inhibit the enzymes in that pathway. So to start, we have our substrate that binds to the enzyme at the active site of the enzyme. So this is step number one. Here on the enzyme, there is an allosteric site. So the next step is that we have our intermediate A, and we're going to put I with a little A, and our enzyme number two, they bind. Next, we have our intermediate B. Now, in these steps, the intermediates can be four, five, six, doesn't matter. But in this example, I'm just doing two. So with intermediate B, I have enzyme number three, and they bind. So at the end of the process, there is an end product. Now, what happens if there is too much of the end product? Well, the end product can then bind to the allosteric site. When it binds to the allosteric site, the shape of the enzyme changes. So there's a change in shape. of the enzyme. When the shape changes, that means that the substrate can no longer bind to that enzyme. And if it can't bind to that enzyme, then intermediate A cannot happen, intermediate B cannot happen, and there will be a no more end product. So this will not happen, this will not happen, and there will be no pro, no end product. Let's use a different color. No end product. And this is feedback inhibition. Well, thanks for watching the video. You're on to a great start. Next is my study with me session where I test your knowledge.